So next we'll show the instrument tie. The instrument tie is useful if you're trying to conserve suture length. The orthopods really love to do it for some reason, uh, but don't overuse it or people will think that you can't actually tie competently. So for this, get your suture, your needle driver. In this case, we'll theoretically pass it through the tissue and then I'm just gonna wedge it under there so my tail's where I can get at it. Now, for this, simply take the instrument, placing it over the wound, wrap twice. Now, our first knot's gonna be a surgeon's knot, okay? Pulling that tail through, and that cinches down nicely. Then, again, your instrument over the wound, wrapping once this time, because only your first knot's a surgeon's knot. And then pulling. Just like before, your tail switches sides each time. So, instrument over the wound, wrap once, grab the tail, pull through. Over the wound, wrap once, and grab the tail. Notably, you don't wanna have the tail too long. This is even a little long because it just gets kind of laborious and you can end up in this situation where you end up, that's what you can grab, you pull tight and then you feel like a big dork. You can kind of save it by nosing in and pulling your tail out, but better not get yourself in that problem in the first place. So again, tying an instrument tie, I'll show kind of one issue that can come up is just having uh, tissues that won't quite approximate, which is being simulated by these tubes. So again, setting the instrument over the wound, wrapping twice, the surgeon's knot can help, but sometimes you just have trouble getting it to stay together. And the minute you take tension off the knot, it opens up again. So one thing you can do here is actually pull the tails the other end, and they can hold a little better for a little longer. Then you can do that second pass, instrument over, and then grab the end. So, it's just one way to uh, deal with difficult to approximate tissues. So you finish tying your knot, which in the case of silks or any other braided suture is after about four knots, but in your monofilaments such as proline, you're gonna want six knots. Um, but in any event, your stack of knots is done. You need to cut, you wanna have the correct scissors, uh, Suture scissors is what you'll ask for. Screw up and then going down to the knot, turning it to 45 degrees and cutting gives you nice short ends uh, that make the knot look good and make you look good.